I'm Rob. Thanks for being here, everybody. It's, uh, it's an interesting Wednesday in the market. I hope Fausto is going to help us uh, interpret some of the events. Um, those of you that already trade together with me know that we've been, what we've been up to and whatnot. But interesting few days and, and a lot more interesting stuff coming up. Uh, especially considering that it just seems like there's some cracks in the system, some stuff's breaking down, the VIX is shooting through the roof, and there's some really interesting things going on. And we couldn't possibly have a better person on the webinar today than my friend Fausto. Fausto uh, has been trading stocks since the 1990s, and then he semi-retired in his early 20s. <laughs> which I'm now in my early 40s and I'm not even semi-retired, so that's quite the accomplishment and totally awesome. Still the same though, and this is an aside, I've never known Fausto to be lazy or not work, so that's the other part about him. He's a 12-time champion of the Money Show Traders Challenge and is known for his live trading events where he proves with his real money that the strategies that he teaches work in real life. Fausto is a friend of mine He's the president and founder of Cyber Trading University, and I'm really proud and excited to have him here on the webinar today. And uh, Fausto, like I said, it's been an interesting few days in the market. Let a, like being a tape reader, being any kind of reader or interpreter of these markets for some people has been an exciting challenge over the last few days. Well, th well, thank thank you very much for that intro, Rob. And yeah, and Rob it's, it has also been a very gr uh, great friend over the years and uh, Rob you know listen talking about being semi-retired just like you that, that's why we got into the education business because trading is a part-time job I mean, we're not trading full-time it's ends up being an hour a day and once you master it I mean what else is there to do when you're 24 years old there's not that much to do but you're you're my age we're in our early 40s now and you know and you're right I'm not lazy I, I work seven days a week I love teaching people I love do, doing presentations educating everybody that would like for, for the reason is what do you need someone else to trade your money for you could do it yourself you know and the, the only problem is that a lot of people fail in this industry is because you know ignorance um, laziness and you know they just don't want to you know, get educated take the time to learn which is obviously it's not a lot of us that are, are fall in that category because we're here right now and and that's the beauty of it and I'd like to thank Rob once again to have me here and Wes and the staff there because, you know what, great traders never stop learning. You know, I get a kick out of it um, when I hear people tell me, they said, oh, well, you know, I already know how to trade. When I hear that, I'm like, okay, this is, <laughs> here we go. This is, an interesting, this is an interesting conversation because great traders will never, ever say that. Um, and that's why we will constantly listen, and I've listened to Rob many times. I, first of all, I think Rob is, has to be one of the best uh, performers and educators uh, in the industry. So he, and uh, you guys know him just as well as I do. He's fun to listen to. He's enjoyable. He's excited, and you know, and, he, and he's not, you know, he's not aggressive. And that's why we get along very well. And the reason why I'm here today is I want to talk about the importance of what's been happening in the markets the last couple of days and, you know, and how to capitalize on it. Because everyone's got to remember, we are traders, okay? Uh, we make money going up. We make money going down. We don't make money going sideways, all right? We don't care what the companies do. We don't want to know. We don't, know what, we don't want to know what's going on. We just want to make money. Remember, this is a business. And it's funny, if you ask anybody what the definition of business is, I tell them a lot of people don't, don't even know, but it's really just two words, making money. Nothing personal. You don't have to like the person, but you have to respect them, and that's what it's all about. So with that said, guys, um, let me um, let me uh, just start changing the slides and tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing, how to become a better tape reader. Uh, well, basically, things we're going to be learning today is how to determine the best points of entry in stocks. I'm going to talk to how to find the most what we call tradable stocks, how to avoid common pitfalls in, um, that day traders face, identifying the follow, um, following the smart money in each stock, and developing a trader's mindset and um, prior to psychology, which is we all could kind of use. Now, like, um, like Rob was telling you, um, I've been doing this for over 20 years. We're probably one of the longest running schools in the industry. And um, you know, I started back in '95, 
And you know what's great about this photo? I want to show this photo to you. And Rob's also very good, uh, very big with when it comes to photos. I always kind of see him snapshot things <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, bro, where'd you get that from? I'm like, <laughs> it's just great, how, you know, how, how he goes about doing it. But um, and because it's all has to always go, always comes back to him that reminds him about the business that he's in, and that's in trading. Well, these two photos right here, if you can see, um, I just rang the closing bell uh, with Steve Forbes. Um, and, and the money show, that's me pumping my hands behind the screen. But the, the, the great thing about this photo is that it was my first time ringing the closing bell. And it also was Steve Forbes' time, first time ever ringing, ringing the closing bell. I thought the guy was up there at least about 20, 30 times, but he wasn't. Nice guy, great guy, learned so much just to be with him for several hours. But the conversation came up about this magazine that's on the right. He actually posted, wrote a front page article. Um, about a bunch of uh, kids tormenting Wall Street. Well, I was one of those kids. Um, we, they called this Soz Bandits back in those days. Now, the thing over the years, um, being a, a Soz Bandit, is basically just being a day trader of today. And the thing is, you know, I love everything about the market. I think it's the best job in the world. You are your own boss. Um, you don't need a lot of money to do this. You don't need that much education. You just need experience and a great mentor. And that's what I learned over the years, and that's why I love doing what I'm doing. Now, um, now I'm a day trader and a tape reader, okay? And that's how I was born and raised here, living in New York. Uh, most New York traders is the financial capital world. That's what we look for. So my goal, what I told Rob, and I was going to educate you guys about, is how to read the tape. Um, because tape reading is going to make things a little bit easier for you to kind of spot the market movement of certain stocks to make your days pay. Now. Um, now that you guys know a little bit about myself, you know I always like to get to know a little bit, a little bit about everybody in the room. So could everyone just give me a chat back and just give me an idea? Just where's everybody logged in from? Um, first of all, uh, we have any local people from the U.S., Canada, Europe, Asia, Mexico, George, okay, Toronto, Pam, Phoenix, Robert, Virginia, Germany. New Jersey, New Zealand, William. Okay, great. Wow, we got a lot of uh, Europeans here. That's great. Another New Jersey from Neil. And um, and another question I have every for everybody is: Can everybody just tell me, like, what kind of trader is everyone? Are you stock traders, options traders, futures traders, um, all of the above traders? What kind of trader is everyone? Okay, we have a lot of Rob Forex, Mark Forex, futures. Um, Stock for, uh, forex and options for wow, this is great. Okay, so it looks like we have a very good diversified um, a bunch of traders here. Now that's great. Now the thing because that that everybody here should know. You know, like when I first started, I thought you only should only trade what you know. But over the years, I found out that and I, and, and listening from other mentors, it's like listen, you don't have to trade every market. You don't want to trade every market, but you should know how they all trade because what happens, certain things will affect um, um, other exchanges. I'll give you an example. A lot of Forex people here, right? What was the big, what was the big, uh, the biggest catastrophe that just happened in the Forex market about, what, three months ago? Can anybody tell me what was the biggest catastrophe that was unprecedented? That's right. You're against the Swiss, right? With Swiss franc, remember? Okay. Well, a lot of now you, you look at it and like, well, that's like almost like you know, a, a 9 11 accident. I mean, the catastrophe. I mean, it's a huge catastrophe. How could you have made money on it? Well, you didn't just have to trade the Forex market to make money on that trade. Um, it also affected stocks. And, you know, and, you know, Rob knows himself. Um, you know, uh, FXCM, for example, uh, got plummeted plummeted uh, due to that. So basically, um, that's, you know, that, that's the way you could have capitalized at trading a different market, you know. So everything kind of, um, everything kind of uh, affects everyone. So you need to know a little bit of everything. So why do 70% of traders fail? Well, <laughs> listen, trading is a job. This is not investing. All right. One thing we tell everyone: if you don't like waking up in the morning and you don't like your job, listen, you just quit because you'll never ever go anywhere. 
um, you have to love what you do. And when it comes to trading, I don't think anybody here, even though you lose a lot of money in a stock, it doesn't make you like, oh, I'm never trading again ever in my life. It's like it's like burning the it's like burning the top of your mouth eating pizza. Anybody do that before? You ever burn the top of your mouth uh, mouth eating pizza? Have that have that stop you from eating pizza again? It's the same thing. We've been burned many of times, but we still love it. But the thing is, a lot of people are not looking as trading as a job, okay? And your job requires to do certain things, okay? Getting educated, um, making money doing it, not sitting there and watching. So let me tell you some of the big mistakes that people make. Biggest number one mistake that people make is opening up a brokerage account. I know that sounds crazy, but I, listen, every ed educator agrees with me. You know what happens? Everybody wants to try it. Okay, they want to go out there, they want to try, open up a brokerage account, see if they like it. If they like it, then they'll say, okay, you know what? Um, all right, now now I want to learn how to trade. I, I, isn't it supposed to be the other way around? That's like a doctor doing brain surgery on your loved ones and says, oh yeah, I want to see if I like, if I can make money um, in the doctor business. If I do, then I'll go to school and learn how to do it. Yeah, that's the person I want to, <laughs> to, to do surgery on my kids, you know? And, and the same thing going back to everyone else. You wouldn't give your money to a, uh, somebody to trade trade for you if they even, don't even know how to, what they're doing. Well, that's where a lot of people are, that's where a lot of people fail in trading. And one thing they do is they go out there and they get overwhelmed and convinced with all these brokerage firms getting free trades. This, you know what? I tell everybody this. The only thing that's free is the cheese in the mousetrap, okay? You don't want anything for free. You just don't want it. It's not profitable. Um, there's a catch. Listen, I, we employ almost 20 people at CyberTrade University. Uh, we have several instructors, big back office. I, I, I told today, nobody there that works at CyberTrade University works for free. It's just it's impossible. So why would anybody want anything for free? The way these brokerage firms make money on you, if you haven't figured it out yet, they'll do, um, maybe some of you heard of dark pools. Uh, maybe some of you heard about them trading against you. You know, listen, at the end of the day, do you really know where you're buying the stock? Do you really, really know where it's coming from? Do you really think the brokerage firm bought that stock at the exact market price from another person? And literally only made you know no money doing it with his free trades. I mean, if if you're that ignorant, which I know a lot of you here are not, that's why you're here to un to understand that. And that is why I went out there and I says, you know what? There's got to be a better way. And then the, the the only way I was taught and knew exactly that I was doing everything backwards is that when I had a mentor take me under his wing and explained it to me and. It, it was those people down there at the bottom because don't get sold on cheap tickets okay it's not gonna work ladies and gentlemen what it is is what it is alright you, you know what you go to a you, you want a cheap hamburger go to McDonald's you want to eat something nice healthy you know you go to a steakhouse and get a real burger but the, but at the end of the day this is your job alright so you can't be cheap with your job because what ends up happening, you'll get burned. So if you, if you, and a lot of you probably know that already. So sometimes you got to take matters in your own hands, and that's where we get into something called direct access. Now, at CyberTrain University, what we, what the way we train our students is the first thing we do is we go out there, we we um, we analyze our students, know about them, what kind of trader they are, um, you know. What they look, what what is their reasoning getting into this business? Um, how much money they're looking to make in this business, and you know, and, and meet with those goals. And then what we do is we show people how to trade the market right at the open, uh, pre-market, after-market, how to compete against the top brokerage firms out there, seeing what they're buying, seeing what they're selling. Because you know, it's amazing, but a lot of people don't realize it that you have a seat on the exchange. You, you could be just like these guys on the floor buying and selling stock just like everybody else, okay? So that is the 50% of the failure rate. 
Yeah, and um, and we're going to get into the tape reading, but I just want to kind of break down just a little basics of trading. Next thing that where people make big mistakes is they just don't learn the software. I mean, some of these trading softwares I know are complicated, but they don't have to be. And by doing that, um, you have to learn how to use a system and the first thing we do when we train our students is we, we break down the execution system and we show them things they only need. I'll be honest with you, 80% of what they offer you, you don't even need it. Okay? Now how to avoid common pitfalls um, that day traders face. Well first of all it comes into the time factor. Okay? Time is everything. Now like I told you earlier, um, I, I only trade about an hour a day. Actually this morning I had a phenomenal day. By the way, anyone here a student or um, has ever seen me done a speaking before? Anybody here a student of Cybertree University? Or has ever seen me do a speaking before? Just give me a uh, yes, and if you're a student, say student yes. No one here, huh? Wow, that, okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. All right. Well, the reason why um, I want to show you some stocks that we've traded. And uh, let me uh, bring up an execution system in the meantime. All right. So this was actually uh, my trading day. Uh, it was up like $21,000 this morning. And people are like, what? 21000 What the hell did you do to make $21,000? Um, did anybody see this stock, uh, GEVA? Anybody see this stock right here? GEVA. Right here. GEVA. It was up 107 points today. Um, up 112. It was a buyout. Stephanie, you did. Okay, Stephanie's the only one. That's it? All right. Well, Stephanie, and for everybody here to let you know, I shorted this stock. Okay? I shorted this stock, and people would be like, wait a minute, you shorted this? Why would you short a stock that's up? Well, if you look right here, you could see, um, and let me zoom in this area. What we do here at Cybertrade University, this stock was up um, due to a buyout. It was at hundred. It was at two hundred and twenty dollars, and you could see how the stock was trending down. Does everybody see that right there in pre-market? Okay. So um, here's my trade reports, my tickets I did, and there we go. Okay. So here's my trades, and here's the times. And you could see I shorted the stock at 857, a thousand shares, and I shorted another thousand at not 859. All right, bring this up right here. At 859, let me just X out of all these right here, make it make it easier for us. All right, there we go. So let me just bring this up. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys to see. And you can see how the stock was trending down. Does everybody see that? So I shorted it right around this time frame right here. And right at the open, uh, the stock went from $216 all the way down to $203. Now, I covered at $204.91. Now, that's where I made. And if you look at the time, you see the time right there? 857 to 939 so how long did how long did it take me to get in and out of that trade let's see if everyone's kind of wide awake here how long did it take me to uh, make that trade how long was I in that trade for okay George SM about 40 minutes and in 40 minutes how much money how many points did I make In forty point in in forty minutes, how many points? What's um two sixteen minus two oh four? That's right, twelve points. Twelve points times two thousand shares is how much money? Who has a calculator? It's twenty four thousand dollars. You see why we love this job? Okay, where do you know that you can make that much money in trading? How about this? 
Some of you might say, but Fausto, I can't afford to trade a $216 stock. No problem, okay? What about if you bought 100 shares of the stock? If you bought 100 shares of the stock, okay, and it moved up 12 points on a short, how much money would you have made? $1,200, very good, okay? Still, anyone happy with that? I mean, anyone here know who makes $1,200 in uh, 40 minutes? I actually, I do, actually, I do, I, I, I heard of it, uh, but I never seen one before, but I heard that drug dealers do do that, <laughs> which we're not doing. We're in the trading business, right? Okay, so anyway, that's why I got into the, edu uh, into the education business, because trading is a part-time job. We make our money early in the pre-markets, and then we kind of enjoy the rest of the day. So... And, and by the way, there were a bunch of other cheap stocks I'll show you. So uh, you know, uh, it wasn't just that one. That was just that was pretty much the big home uh, the home run that we had. There was a lot of cheaper ones out there. But the thing I want to kind of explain to you is that when it comes to trading, we only we only work part time. We work we watch what happens in the pre market. We follow all what we call the high frequency trades, and we make our days pay. Actually, um, I even came out with a something that's called a cyber clock, um, which is kind of tells you the best times and worst times to trade. You can find that on our on our website if anyone's interested. Really I think it saves you basically thousands. People love it. Now how to determine the best entries and exit points in the stock? I think everybody wants to know. How, how do you know where to get in? How did you find that stock? Where did it come from? How did you know how to get out of that stock? Well, the, the way I was trained, okay, by my mentors. Now remember, I live here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world, and the only way they say that, the only way to do it, uh, they said Fausto, is follow the money. That's all you have to do. Now, how do you follow money? Well, the way you follow it is you need to get the right execution system, and and see where the buyers and sellers are. It's that simple. So there is something called level three. Does anybody here know what level three is? Anyone ever heard of it? Total view? No one heard about it? Let, let me ask everyone um, uh, an honest question. If I was able to tell you that you could actually see 70% of the volume out there, how much better and smarter trades would you make? In, in other words, what's that worth to you? What is it worth to you if I was able to show you where 70% of the volume is going? of a stock that you're in, a trade that you're in. Yeah, priceless, right? David, John, right? Priceless. All right. Well, that's how I got into the business. That's basically what happened to me. Um, I went out there. Is it a crystal ball? No, no, actually it's called level three. Crystal balls you can get from, um, you can find them in the gypsy store or something like that. We don't use crystal balls here. Um, I heard of them. I heard of it, but I never actually know if they really work. But the one I'm going to tell you about does work. Now, this is actually um, offered by the exchanges. Um, it's called Total View. I'm going to educate you guys a little bit about it, what it is. Okay. So basically, Total View is going to show you exactly where the orders are. Now, does anyone ever heard of um, high frequency trading? Anybody heard of that? HFTs, high frequency trading? Okay. Now, a lot of people think like, oh, yeah, I heard about it. It's bad. You know, they're a bunch of crooks and this and that. Well, listen, if you think you're dealing with a bunch of crooks, why are you in this business in the first place? All right? That's the first thing I ask people. If, you, if, you, if you're that negative about the people that are bad in this business, what are you doing in it? They're just going to take more money from you. Um, but, no, there is a, an easier and simpler way. The total view is going to show you where all the orders are. And you got to understand something. These people are trading millions and millions and millions of shares, okay? They don't have time to play games, all right? So when it comes to trading, total view is going to show you where the, all the orders are. Now, I assume a lot of you here know how to read a chart. And when you look at a chart over here, you can see that there's a lot of bot. You know, this, um, let me get, hold on, let me get my pointer right here. There we go. All right, so here's a resistance. Here's a support. Stock goes back up, coming up to a resistance. Now, in theory, most people would think, oh, when you're coming up to a resistance, the stock's going to go down. Well, <laughs> did anyone forgot that in a chart, 
that's what happened in the past. It's not indicative of the future. Okay, what makes a stock go up and down, you know, or chart go up and down is buying and selling. Now, if you notice, there's a 75,000 share buyer out there. Now, what does that tell you? If you have a 75,000 share buyer out there, what do you think the stock's going to do? Go up or down? Everyone, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's like common sense, right, John and Pam and Mike and Joe. Exactly, you know, and 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 moving forward and looking at some more examples. Look at this right here. You see how the stock hit a major resistance levels right there, right at six dollars uh, and seventy five cents. Well, the reason now that the stock right now is trading at six sixty two. Now, in theory, you think the stock should go up. It's coming to a support level. But if this stock wants to go back to its 695 price range, well, before it gets there, it's got to break. This guy at 45,000 has to move or get executed. Now, you see a lot of people showing hundreds, 300, 500. Uh, not, I don't, you know what? That really can't manip, you know, control the stock when you have that big of an order out there. So here, you, here you're looking at of a 71,000 share seller out there. You know, so these are your exit points. All right. So let's talk about entries and exits again. What is an entry? Where the buyers are. Where is the exits? Where the sellers are. Now, if you're one of the traders out there that are trading this market and don't know where those buyers and sellers are, I hate to say it, you're trading blind. And that's why 70 to 80 percent of the people lose money in the market. I mean, first of all, why would you not want that data, right? I mean, what's the worst thing? What's the worst thing could happen to you, happen to you by by having it? It's going to tell you where the orders are. Is that a bad thing? You know. So this is why I love trading and teaching people because to me, I'm like, why would anybody go out there and not know this data? Why would you not want to know where you know everybody wants to know ent entries and exits? Well, the only way to know if you need an entry and exit is seeing if the buyers are there and the sellers are there. Other than that, you're trading blind. So we call these here at Cyber Trading University, we call them iceberg orders. So, I mean, let me ask you something, everyone. Did you ever, ever do a trade and as soon as you buy it, the thing goes down? And as soon as you sell it, it goes up? And you're like, sometimes you wonder, like, people are watching you. And like, why is that? It always happens to me. It's not your fault. You know, you just didn't see all the buyers and sellers out there. How many of you were, are in a, were in a were in a trade and says, you know what, I got to get out at this resistance levels, or I got to get out to support. It's just, it, it, you know, it, it's going to everything else is telling me it's going to go lower, and then all of a sudden you got a big block order out there. So these are the things that you have to understand. Um, Question from John. John says, isn't this uh, not the case, but big money placing them types of big orders, but pulling them just before the execution? Well, John, listen, you know what? First of all, they're not a fake order because no brokerage firm will let you put a fake order out there without having money in the account. Can they pull orders? Of course they could. They could change their mind, you know, but you'll see it. But that's very, very minimal, you know, and, and this is the beauty part about this whole thing. If I was to tell you, I will personally guarantee every one of you that I could show you this on a day-by-day -day basis. Anyone interested in coming to watch it live? Anybody interested in seeing and saying, okay, Fausto, sounds great. Something very interesting. I never realized you could see live orders out there. And just like, you know, quoting John saying, you know, Fausto, you know what? I heard these are fake orders or they cancel orders. Well, you know what? There's only one way to find out. I don't know where you got your, your information from, but there's only one way to prove that. Let's go see it happen. So at the end of this presentation, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer everyone an opportunity to come and watch this live. So the thing is, you got to know where the big orders are. Always know where the big orders because hundreds and 300 shares are not going to compete next to the guys that show 22,000, 10,000. 8,000, you know, those are the big orders. Um, Till says, I've never knew that was possible. Well, that's why Rob Booker wanted me here to speak to you guys.
because you know, listen, I've been doing this for 20 wonderful years. And let me tell you, I will do this into as long as I can because I love opening up um, everyone's eyes because there are 10 million plus traders out there and I, I believe I could teach every one of them if they want to learn you know and do it the right way but unfortunately a lot of people won't <laughs> you know I just gotta be honest with you a lot of people just be like you know what it's like I could put a hundred dollars on the floor and people will still put, walk by and like yeah there's something wrong that's that doesn't uh, I'm not interested you know so the thing is if you believe in education, you believe in a mentor, and you believe and you want to see this really exist, I'll show you. Because remember, I was on the other side of the table. I was I was the doubters, and the only way I was a believer when I saw somebody actually trade the market and show it to me in real market hours. Um, is it possible to see it in FX? Mm, not really. Um, yeah, Brian, you know what, it does, I know, I, and you know what's even, even, you know what even sounds even better than that, too good to be true, how about it's going to be guaranteed, what, what loss you have there, right, Brian, so that's the way how we go about teaching, cause, you know, and going out there, we say, hey, you know what, well, I guarantee it, I'll show it to you, so we'll get there, all right, and, and by the way, and for everybody here, as much as I'm going to guarantee it and show you how to follow the money, not all, you know, 100 people in here are going to join me, okay? I know there are people still doubting it there, you know? I mean, listen, uh, th there's people out there who are not going to believe it, but if I can guarantee it that I will show you this on every single stock, I think you'll be ecstatic. For example, I mean, just like today with that stock that was up $24,000 in 30 minutes, Come tomorrow morning, you're going to see it live in the market. We do it all day long, every day. So the point I want to get to um, about entries and exits, a couple of questions coming across here. Let me kind of answer these quick. So for NASDAQ stocks, what about S&P? For all of them, New York, NASDAQ, you know, anything that trades on the exchanges, you could see all those orders, SM. Um, Marxist arena tape has nothing to do with technicals of fundamentals. All has to do is level three. Um, th that's right, Mark. Technical. When you get into technicals, okay, technicals work for swing trading, investing. It does not work for day trading, okay? Um, it, it, because they're they're lagging, too, they're lagging too much. So it's very very difficult to see that. But when it comes to you know trading, um, when you're reading the tape, part of reading the tape is writing, seeing the orders, and watching the volume. That is what's tape reading. Now. When charts came into the picture, because charts were really never there when I started, uh, there was big charts. You know, we had to go to delay charts. But um, what makes support and resistance levels on a chart are buying and selling. You know, orders are out there. Now, what about um, now? How do we find the most tradable stocks? I think that's the next thing people always ask. Well, wh where did you find them? Where did they come from? Well, first of all. A lot of good execution systems have good scanners, all right? So I go through my top percentage gainers and losers list, and then I'll just work my way through the, the, um, the trades. Now, you have to remember, you got two things in order to make money. You, you have a commission, and the most expensive part of the trade is the spread. That's, that's the difference between the bid and the ask, all right? So when you're looking at these two level two screens, one thing that I kind of teach everybody is as much as we could follow orders, not every stock is what we call tradable. You can't trade every single stock out there. Some are too fast. Some of them have too big spreads. Some of them don't have enough buyers and sellers. You know, some of them you can't mentally comprehend what's going on. You know, I talk to people all the time. This is fast. Though. I don't know these, these, these numbers. They move so fast. Of course, they move fast. You're looking at a fast-moving stock. They don't all. They all don't trade that way. So when it comes to trading, guys, if you kept things a little bit more simple or depending on what kind of trader you are is what is going to help you integrate the tools that you're going to need because you don't want to be like this baby and then say, you know what, I'm, I'm getting more, the more I think, the more confused I get. And I, I, I love this photo. I was, I was doing a search on the internet. I'm like, how can I get people's attention other than like, because I always get people like when I do when I do these speakings, I'm like, look at this. He has absolutely no idea what he's doing. Well, the thing is, you don't want to be like him, okay? And one way how you do that 
is you keep things very, very simple. Okay, it's called the KISS method here at Cybertrain University. You got to learn how to kind of eliminate a lot of the noise, get right back to the basics, follow the money, and then you can add things to go in after afterwards if you want. Now, Cybertrain University, what we do here is um, I run a live professional trading room that runs all day. We have several instructors that work for us and including myself and we're trading with our students, hundreds and hundreds of students every day. Okay? Every day. You want to be a good trader? Well let me tell you how I, I learned how to be a good trader. You want to be on the you want to be on the best team. All right? Nobody wants to play on a stinky team. You don't want to be the best player on the worst team. Just not. It's not going to happen. It's you're not going to go anywhere. What makes you better is surrounding yourself with great traders. So at Cybertrade University, we we started um, a trading room over 15 years ago, and you know the way we ge way we gear it is that you know we, we we all kick ideas back and forth. We have live audio broadcasts, um, but you get to watch it all day long. So this is the opportunity I'm going to give you guys to kind of come and join in. Uh, a couple of questions coming across here. Oh, is, is it really Tina or oh, Tilda? Oh, thanks for sharing that. Um, but the thing is, have any of you guys ever been in a live trading room that runs all day? Anyone ever been in one? Nobody? Nobody here has ever been in a live trade. Oh, one person, Brian has. Pam has. Okay. Rob, obviously. Good, good, good. Just checking. Just checking. Neil, you have? Good. Because you know what? This is why people like Rob and myself get along very well. It's because there's not too many people will trade with you. Okay? A lot of people will not put their money where their mouth is. A lot of people sound great, got beautiful PowerPoint presentations, but when it comes to trading in the market and seeing it live and putting it to the test, it's a totally different ball game. Totally different ball game. Uh, do we teach um, different languages? Uh, no, just English right now. All right, now finding some stocks that we've traded. This is what we traded on Friday. ONC. Okay, here's a stock right at the open. Went from 950 to 1040. All right, you can see that one right there. Um, here's the, up to here in the top right. That's actually my Twitter feed. Okay, Fausto's afternoon picks. ICLD. Look at this one. It went from a dollar seventy to 250 and then right at the close it went from 230 to 270 all right by the way does anybody have a problem trading stocks at a two dollars or five dollars anyone have a problem with that and, or, and also these are not penny stocks these are all Nasdaq Nasha good a lot of you are saying no and you shouldn't okay at the end of the day you buy a stock at a dollar fifty and you sell it at two bucks you make fifty cents on a thousand shares five hundred dollars do you, do you you think you think your wife or your spouse is going to come back to you and yell at you and say, why in the hell did you trade ICLD? Why did you trade Apple? I heard everyone's, everyone trades Apple. Well, you know why everybody's trading Apple? Because they're not traders. You understand? Why is not everyone trading ICLD up 71%? 71%. See what I'm saying? So I know Apple has never been up 71%, maybe over the course of the year. But it's no 71% mover in a day. Can we change my slide here? Here's another stock that was on my list, NTRK, uh, NKTR. Um, look at this stock right here, right? The open went from 980 up until about 1015, ran to like 1090, another dollar move. And then the last 30 minutes, you can see how the stock, um, when we trade going into the afternoon, Stock goes from 11 to 11.70. Not bad for a day's pay, right? And you know how you you know how you know why these things were going up? Because there were buyers out there bidding for it, and that's how you know. NTRI is another one, big mover right here. Went from 20 to 23, another 
Twitter feed. Uh, CALD, another one, up 14%. You can see that was one, also one of the morning meetings on Friday's event. So a lot of big, 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 big winners. And uh, let me show you some of them today, actually. Uh, let me bring and share this with you. Hold on. I actually have a couple of positions open right now. I'm in Shack uh, right now from... 54 has been a bit of swing trade, but um, let me kind of show you some of the winners that we traded. And here, ZU was one of them. That one didn't do too good. That was not a good one. Uh, PTBI, thank God I sold that stock. Came all the way down actually. But uh, this was a big winner right here. This stock went from eight dollars to eleven dollars. Okay. So that was another big winner this morning. Um, noodles, G GI is noodles right here. It's finally come back a little bit. This stock took a big, big hit from 28 all the way down to 18. It's come back a little bit. But these are the things that we trade. These are the things that we get excited about when we go out there and make our days pay. This is how we trade the market, guys. That's why we love what we do. Now, developing a trading mindset for traders, a, 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 a proper psychology, well, first of all, let's get something straight, potential income. You have to, the, the, the next thing when we ever consult our students, and hopefully some of you be a student at Cybertree University, we always want to ask them and say, how much money do you want to make? Okay? And I know everybody like, it's it's, will say, I want to make as much money as I can. That's not the answer you need. Okay, you're going in a job interview. All right. The job pays a certain salary. Do you want it or you don't want it? Okay. Because you know what? If I could teach you how to make a thousand a day, fifty cents, is five hundred dollars, twenty trading days a month, over a six-figure salary. And all we're talking about is a stinking little fifty cents. That's it. Fifty cents. Now, how do you go about doing it the right way and understanding? Because let's talk about, let's kind of reiterate what we talked about so far. We talked about brokerage firms. We talked about total view. We talked about, you know, shattering brokerage firms. We talked about, you know, placing orders. We talked about support and resistance levels. We talked about, you know, seeing those ECN orders at those support and resistance levels on a chart. You know, these are all the things that are going to help you make money in the market, but to do it right, I mean to really, really, really do it right, you need a mentor. You need a mentor, it's going to show you, and let me tell you, sometimes it's, it's not one mentor, you need more than one um, to help you do it. All right, now, um, can anybody here join me um, in my trading room to see all this stuff live in the market? Anybody here could do that, have time in the next five days? Remember, I personally guarantee it, all right? So this is basically what, what we need to, what we're offering. Um, $29 gives you five days in my trading room, five days. Now, some people will be like, well, why are you charging us 29 Just put this for free. Well, first of all, we want to see, we, we want serious people to be in there, number one. Number two, it does cost us a lot of money to, uh, for the webinar technology. So we use a very expensive um, tool that we have to pay for. So the $29 is basically my cost just to have you in the room. So I'm kind of prostituting myself for free. <laughs> That's basically what my goal is. But my ultimate goal after that is that, you can, is that you're going to finally say I found a person that I could trust and now I understand how to make money in the market. So what we're doing is for $29, it's fully 100% guaranteed. And by having it guaranteed, you can come and sit back and enjoy, talk to an education advisor, and you know, eventually you could talk to an instructor. But it's more or less getting in the room and seeing people trade the stocks that we're trading but, and not worry about after the fact. Now, as a bonus, if you sign up today, we have a workshop that we're doing um, on Forex. I think it's on Forex and Futures on Friday from... Um, 
our instructor Jesse Colombo, who's actually a Forbes columnist. So you can read a lot about him also in Forbes. But we're fortunate for having to work for us, and he's and actually it's his time to do a workshop this week. So if you do sign up today, we're gonna we're gonna let you join and take the um, uh, take that bonus right there. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me give you guys the link if anybody here wants to register for it. Uh, let me just bring it up here. And all you have to do is go to ctu.co, or you can call the office. And right here on the right-hand side says $29. Uh, just click on that, and you'll be able to sign up. Yes, that is next Friday. I mean this Friday, this Friday. All right, any questions so far, ladies and gentlemen, that I can answer? Any questions? While some of you are chatting in your questions, um, let me just kind of reiterate what, we, what we've learned, okay? Because it's amazing what time goes, right? We're talking over 45 minutes, and it's like, wow, that was pretty quick. Well, we covered a lot, okay? My goal, what I wanted to do today, was to educate all of you to make you realize that trading is not that hard. And what you need to do is to be a tape reader or understanding anything in the market is you got to learn how to follow the money. Follow the orders, match with support and resistance levels, um, see where the high frequency trades are, knowing who's getting in, getting out, do all those little necessary steps because at the end of the day you don't need that much to make a very good living. Um, couple of questions. Now, oh yes, are we only, question is, are we only talking about stocks in here? No, absolutely not. We also cover Forex, we cover options, we cover futures, we cover all those things. But me specifically, I, I just day trade. Uh, what's the difference between level two and total view? Well, the big difference is total view has 20 times more data than level two. You don't see all the orders with level two. You see a fraction of it. Um, is the workshop going to be recorded? Yes, it will. Absolutely. When you sign up with CyberTree University, you're going to have access to our um, to the website, and then you'll have all your course material there, all your lesson planners, um, any upcoming recordings, upcoming events. Um, we really try to here at CyberTree University kind of make things a little flawless for you to get to learn as quickly and as ha as fun as possible. Uh, any more questions? Any more questions, ladies and gentlemen? The total of you is separate trading. Uh, um, well, no. I mean, some brokerage firms do offer it. So, and I always prefer you do that. But if they don't, get the uh, level two. Uh, question, total views available for futures. Uh, you know what? If you talk to Jesse, our, our Forex um, uh, columnist, he'll explain it and let you know. There is something, but not as advanced as with, when it comes to stocks. Uh, Abdul says, what brokerage firms do, do I use? Well, we educate for 50 of them. We don't show you, you we don't tell you, uh, we have no exclusivity, so... It, and I, and I really can't tell you which one's the best because every one of you are case-by-case -case basis. Some of you have IRAs, some of you trade options, some of you just trade stocks alone. You know, everybody's different. So when you sign up for the $29, just to let you know, you are going to have, you're going to have access to one of our education advisors and, um, and he'll be able, to, uh, be able to answer a lot of those questions for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, any last-minute questions before we go? Yes, this has been recorded, this, uh, this event. All right, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, I gave you the link. Um, you could actually access it right on our homepage or our website. All right. 
And um, if you have, once you've registered, you're going to have access to the trading room. You have access to the workshop that's coming up. So you got a lot of stuff coming up. So we'll sit back and just watch and just fasten your seatbelts. I'm telling you, you're not going to ever see anything like it. I get people that email me and says, this cannot be true. Sounds like you're running an ATM machine. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but to see for yourself, I'm going to personally guarantee it for all of you. Um, we do cover Forex in that room too, absolutely. Like I told you when you first started, we learn all the markets. You, gotta, you have to know how they work, and not only that, but it helps you become a better trader. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you so much. I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Rob and the staff for helping me get here and, and organizing this, uh, this event. It's always been a pleasure and an honor and a privilege. And then most important for everyone here, listen, have fun. And go out there and get a mentor. You know, you're not going to learn on yourself. It's just too costly. And you know what? I always tell everybody, you don't have to spend a lot of money, okay? Like, like look what we're doing. We're charging $29, and we guarantee you money back. You know what? If it works, it works. It doesn't work, it doesn't work out. That's all. But you got to start somewhere. So thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. It was, I, I hope everyone enjoyed this afternoon program, and I hope I look forward to teaching every single one of you in the next, um, you know, very shortly, hopefully in the classes that come up, but also in that Cyber Group Room promo. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day and happy trading. Thanks for being here. See you later, everyone.